Hi guys, in this demo, I'm gonna show you a quick way to do a render from this viewport. So you can actually get your, your, your uh, model out as an image, which will make it a little bit easier to see some stuff in class for some of our assignments. So for this, I'm just using the uh, earthquake demo project. The first thing you need to know is that it's gonna render out the resolution of your document size. So right now, if I use this zoom tool I told you guys not to use, um, you can actually see this is going to be the render right here. So as you're trying to frame things up, you want to frame them up for uh, this this window right here. Um, it doesn't matter what size you have when you render it. It's always going to render out full resolution. So what is that resolution? Well, you can go set it in here. I'm just going to choose, uh, let's see here. It's going to choose new document. And under the document, you can actually see that you can change your document size. So I'm going to actually set it right here. Uh, 1920 by 1080. Oops, 1920. And then I'll hit resize. It'll say, are you sure? You're going to lose everything. Uh, make sure you have your tool saved before you do this. But once you're done, you should actually now have the, the full thing at 1920 by 1080. Uh, we can confirm that that's what we actually get right there. And that's regardless of the size of your actual monitor. Um, so in fact, here is the one time I'm actually going to use that zoom tool to then see what my image is gonna look like. I can now bring my earthquake back in. Um, of course, you'd be working on whatever tool that you made. Uh, what you can do is, oops, I got two earthquakes. Um, bring them in, I'm gonna switch over to edit mode. And now I can just go ahead and place my model wherever I want in the screen, with the central, off the side, whatever you wanna do. Um, uh, so uh, once you have this and you have a framing that you like, and again, I'm just zoomed out here just so I can actually see stuff. If I were to hit the actual resolution, I wouldn't be able to see the edge of the frame and I don't know what it, how my framing actually looks. So uh, zooming out actually is helpful here. I'm just left clicking, dragging on this button uh, to make this work. Once I have this, the render button is up here, BPR. You can do it as is, or if you want, um, you can crank this up. Um, and uh, this is just your anti-aliasing. The higher this goes, the smoother this will look. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the BPR button. You'll see it rendering up here. Again, uh, depending on the, on the how um, beefy your computer is, this could uh, take a while. Uh, the three uh, resolution that it was on to begin with is just fine. Um, so you guys can do that too if you like, or if you have the computing power at the time, you can kind of play with this a little bit. I'm gonna pause while this runs and then we'll uh, uh, ch see what to do with after. All right, so the render's done. There's some weird stuff on it, but this is fine, especially for what we're doing right now. It is rendering shadows and stuff. I'm getting some weird shadows in the belly, um, but I haven't played with any of the lights, so I get what I get. Um, but it's definitely much crisper than it was before. Um, uh, at this point, I just need to save it out or to export it. So I'm just gonna go to the render menu here. In fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll take the render menu and I'll pull it over to the side panel. Just left click and drag off of this little button there. Um, and then you just need to go down here where it says BPR render pass and open this section up. Um, this button here is the same as this button. So I already clicked on that, so we're good to go. Um, and it stored the render right here in the composite mode. Um, so I'm just gonna click on this button and then it's just gonna ask where to put it. It defaults to a Photoshop file, but in this case, I'm just gonna go to a JPEG and I'm just gonna put it on the desktop I've made a little folder here under ZBrush renders. So you can just relabel it whatever you need to. Um, Jones, Josh, Sculpture One. Um, it's gonna double check and make sure that you're cool with how it's exporting it. Again, since my ZBrush window is um, not big enough to show it, I can't see everything. You can pan around and look at it, <laughs> which I know is kind of weird. Um, it also allows you to do a crop. So if you want to um, grab these circles or adjust the crop here, you can to change uh, what, and it will just change what's going to export. And it will, now it will just export this. Obviously, in this case, uh, zero. Not crop anything would be good since I already set up the way I like. Um, that's all I need to do. So honestly, all I need to do here is hit OK because I already liked my framing from before. And that's it, I'm done. If you wanna do another render, no big deal. Go ahead and adjust it. As soon as you adjust it, you're gonna lose that render quality. We'll do another one at resolution three, we'll compare. Um, and then I'll render again. To render, just hit the button. This will be a little bit faster. Okay, and then um, same thing here. 
I'll just click on the pass that I want, the composite right there. Save it as a JPEG or whatever format you want. Jones Josh Sculpture 2. Again, make any adjustments that you want. You can also hit adjust and play with these things too. So you can actually adjust your um, uh, your various levels to get a better image if that looks better to you. Um, or not. Totally up to you. Um, just some quick image adjusting, editing uh, settings. These other swatches over here are just different passes. So there's a masking pass, uh, subsurface scatter, some other things it quickly generates. That's part of the reason why it takes so long, also because I had this turned on. Um, this shaded pass might also be one that you want to export. Um, I'll go ahead and put that out too. Um, it's basically just your shaded version without any background. So that might be, um, I'll say OK again. That might be something that makes your image look better depending on what silhouette you have and the colors that you've chosen for your your carrier, what character, what materials you've chosen. So here, just to give you a sense of what this looks like, um, you just have my simple JPEG here, number one, number two, and then here's the last shaded version. You can see it just dropped out the background and just rendered it on black. In terms of the quality, um, this was the resolution, I uh, see a little bit better this way. This is um, the default resolution for the render. You can see it's pretty fairly pixelated. Um, and then, um, although the gray version uh, did a better job of blending to the background. So possibly the anti-aliasing isn't doing much in that other view. And then this is the comparison to um, the first one with the higher resolution anti-aliasing. You can see it's a little bit smoother, also a little bit blurrier as happens with anti-aliasing. And there you go. That's how you can render out of ZBrush.